It was a tough game, man. It was a really tough game. And, I mean, like we always have those battles with Stanford. Stanford's a well-coached team, well-oiled team. And, I mean, they play hard for their coach. And, and they just did a great job of executing down the stretch. I think everybody knows rebounds, <laughs> second chance points. Uh, we, I mean, we did good the first half, kept them off the boards, and I guess we just got comfortable and too comfortable, and they just came out harder than us. And um, they just out, out boarded us, got second chance points. So it's never a good thing. How do? Physically. I don't know. I just it, I'm, my body's all numb since uh, probably my sophomore year here, so I don't even know. It's, I don't know if it's broke or <laughs> feeling good or nothing. I just roll with it. I'm just I'm just feeling numb, but it's all worth it at the end. Did you throw up in the first half? Yeah, a little bit, but uh, you know, I just kept playing. It's better out than in. No, I mean, man, you got – I got great teammates, first off. Let me start by saying that. And realistically, I mean, I, I was I'm – re, I'm really disappointed because there was, there was some shots that really I should have made. I, I mean, I'm wide open, and these guys are getting me shots that I'm wide open. I'm standing in the corner wide open. Nobody – the closest person is in the paint, and, and I'm missing those shots. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, if I make this shot, we could go – we could go on a lead. And I think I missed one – at the top of the key, um, I think we're, we would put would have put us up one or would have tied the game, and then the one in the corner. And Joe just been, been doing she a good us, job. You brought us back, though. That's the, I mean, we're, the thing about Roberto, man, he he doesn't he doesn't take his credit where credits due. I mean, this guy plays hard through everything. I mean, I've been watching him since high school and Compton Magic and growth here at Oregon State. He's a tough player. He's a, he's a good teammate to have and a good uh, good guy to have your back. Um, through the war and um, yeah, I mean, it, it, with I mean, yeah, he missed shots, but he's not he's not missing too many shots. I mean, he when he misses it, he's he's gonna con con concentrate more on the next shot that's going down. That's what he did tonight, and uh, we couldn't expect more out of him than what he uh, gave gave to the gave to the game tonight. Yeah, I let my emotions get the best, but I just want to win. You know, it's competitive edge. Um, yeah, I mean, he's when he's under the basket, I just want him just to maybe, I maybe I see it different. Maybe I'm not because I'm not in his position. You know, I don't know if the man's like you know pushing on him or something. But if I had long arms, I just go up there and just dunk it every time. You know, but I'm not in his position, and I I I shouldn't have came at him that way. I should have just encouraged him. I should have just said you know get it next time, and that's what I need to work on. But um, yeah, I just got my emotions got the best of me. I apologize in the locker room. I apologize to the team. So we're all good now. But isn't it okay though, as a senior, to try and get on somebody like that? Mo most definitely, and, and that's what we need. And, and real realistically, that's the right thing for him to do. I mean, Eric Morland doesn't. I don't think the thing about it is I don't think he realizes how athletic he is yeah. and, and and how much of a presence he brings down in the paint. I think sometimes he he kind of I don't short, he, yeah he sells himself short and not necessarily that he shies away from contact, but sometimes he just does a little up and under. When I mean, he, I've seen him in practice just go up and just just dunk it, just dunk it all the time. And and we're just trying to have him. We're just trying to have that stuff that he does in practice translate to the game. And I mean, Joe Joe's Joe's right for that, and and I think everybody knows that. And I mean, like Eric, Eric's gonna Eric's gonna know Eric's gonna see it, and he's gonna watch film because I mean he's a. He really, he really sits down and he analyzes the game really well. So he'll see what he needs to do and he'll come out and do it. So, I mean, it, sometimes it just needs to be said in, in order for somebody to, to correct it. Sometimes you feel a little lost out there. Like Who? He, Eric, like he's not quite where he's supposed to be or you can't, you can't take full advantage of what his skills are. I, not, I mean, not, I wouldn't say that. I think, I think he kind of second guesses himself. And like, like what Roberto said, like he, he, I don't think he knows that he's like more athletic than what he thinks. Cause like he yeah he sells himself <coughs> short sometimes, um, like when he 
up fakes and then just draws away from the contact, which is going up strong. I mean, no, if you put the ball above his head, he's already he's already six ten with long arms, seven foot wingspan. So I mean, he's seven five when he puts the ball up. All he got to do is jump three inches and dunk it. So he, I mean, I I think he just needs to get that mindset in him, just to be a scorer, be a killer around the basket. But he he's still young, you know, he's still a kid, so he's still working on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's definitely being too unselfish. And, and I mean, that, that's the type of player he is, though. I mean, he's an unselfish guy. He's an unselfish, he's an unselfish player out there. And so, I mean, sometimes he, we need him to be selfish sometimes because he's definitely a threat. I see it. The team believes in it. The coaches believe in him. And it's just time for him to start believing in himself. And I'm telling you, it's going to come. I mean, he, he's definitely a student of the game, and, and he'll, he'll, he'll correct it, trust me. I mean, I, 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 lo I love the fans. I mean, who, people who come and who stay for the whole game, I love them. You know, uh, I mean, you know, it's you know, life. I mean, there's, there's bigger priorities than a basketball game. You know, if there's family issues, I mean, you got to go take care of that. I mean, um, I don't know. I just, I mean, if the fans are there, they're there. If not, they're not. They're watching on TV. That's probably why, too, because we got the Pac-12 network. So you can just stay at home now and watch, uh, you know, our games on the, on the telly. So... I said I just said Telly. <laughs> you can't blame me though. Show. We got to win some more games. We got to win some more games. Yeah, that's they, what that's really what it's what it comes yeah. down to. I mean, you can't you can't lose and expect the, f the same amount of fans to be there. That's just that's just not life. That's not how it happens in sports. I mean, that's that's how it goes. I mean, you win games, more people come. You lose games, you you lose fans. So it's like, mean, the, like, yeah, like the f football. It's, it's just how it is. Games like they lost one and then wasn't tailgating. So that's how it goes in sports. I wouldn't say I forced it. I mean, it's a shooter. Uh, that's I, I mean, I, I can make that, I can make shots, man. And a lot of my shots are in and out. I mean, the first half hitting the rim three three times and bouncing out. I mean, th that's that's a miss. That's a miss that should have went in. So that's how I see it. I'm not gonna bang. I'm not gonna get down on myself because I missed a shot. I mean, that's that's how that's not that's not how scorers do. I mean, you watch some of the, the, the players who go out there and play and play hard at the professional level. I mean, they miss a shot. They're not gonna not take a shot just because they missed it. So you gotta just have a, a short memory and just play. And um, I mean, I, I'm just playing, man. I'm playing to win. And if I have an open shot, I'm gonna take it. And a lot of my threes in the second half were wide open. Like I said, and I, I missed those. So I don't really, I wouldn't say I forced it. I just, they didn't go in. And, and that's the that's the name of the game sometimes. The opportunity was there and he took it. It's a good shot. Goes in, doesn't go in. Because yeah, we're, we're we're still a good team. I mean, we're, the, our record may not indicate how how good of a team we are, and and we haven't really been playing our best. But I mean, I mean, we we love the fans, man. We love the fans. We love the people that come out and support, and and Joe and I, and and a few of the other guys. We go out and support all the other the other Oregon State uh, teams. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, we're just it's Beaver Nation. Yeah, man. This it's really we're we're all a family. So I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't give up on on my family. Stuff goes bad. What was the question again? Sorry. Just how Saturday is going to be. Uh, if you feel like it's going to be any different. Well, Saturday. I didn't check the weather. It's probably going to be raining like <laughs> usual because of Oregon. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably wake up. Hopefully, I'll wake up <laughs> and uh, get to uh, shoot around, lace up, go out to shoot around. People will probably be sad. Um, you know, do the shoot around for an hour, go eat the meal, nap for about an hour and a half, then get back up, ice my knees, my body, put the jersey on one last time, and then, yeah, lace up my shoes, go up there and do the same same routine. <coughs> Nothing's going to change. On a side note, too, it's not the last game. We still have a few more games right, in the Pac-12. Yeah, but the last oh, yeah. home game, so. I mean, it, it still might not be the last home game, so we yeah. we still have a chance to 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 go out and compete in the Pac-12 tournament. So, I mean, I'm not counting us out yet, and I don't think you guys should either. Joe, what's the uh, inspiration between 
I don't know for the haircut. <laughs> oh, God. You said what's the inspiration? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? <coughs> well, does anybody know about the Mohawk tribe? Probably not. They used to cut their hair like this. And uh, the Mohicans got, um, got ran, and um, some fled, and some got away, and I guess uh, the spirits came into me, I guess. So go look it up, the Mohicans. It's a native tribe over in Bridge, Bridgestone, I think. Bridgestone, Montana, I think. I didn't know till Instagram. He didn't even tell me about it. Yeah, I, I, it was just, it was just, a, it was one of those. Um, spur of the moment. Yeah, spur of the moment. Like I was just like, dude, this is my last week. Might as well go with the bang. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I was watching, uh, I was watching Scarface. <laughs> I was just like. He went out with Al Pacino went out with a bang, <laughs> so might as well just go out <laughs> and cut me up, whatever. And just gave me mohawk. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> we definitely have the capabilities. Um. I want to see Olaf in the mohawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, that, that ain't their thing. That ain't their thing. <laughs> we might have a mohawk, but I don't know if we'll go balls on the sides though. So yeah, we'll, I, we'll see. see I, didn't, I didn't even know. That. I didn't even know that she was uh, doing that. All of a sudden, I just zzz, I'm like, man. I'm like, whatever. And I, and I can't. And I can't. I have my glasses off, so I, you know, I I'm blind without my glasses, so I couldn't see what she was doing. So I just had to just cross my fingers, hope she did a good job. But yeah, it's for the Mohicans, Mohawk tribe. You didn't know you were gonna do mohawk. No, I said do a mohawk, but when like I'm sitting in the chair and it's a mirror, and she's just like, mm, I'm like, I would like, I sometimes I was like, put my get my glasses and try to look real quick, but I mean it came out nice, so whatever. Did coach like it? Did he like? Oh, I guess. Right, thanks, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so.